Once again, we are back on Ignisos ET Talk Train of Thought with a series of an episode with Professor K. V. Ramakrishnan, who has been there with the Reserve Bank of India for 22 years and 28 years as a general manager at STCI Finance Limited, which is promoted by a Reserve Bank of India. And he has also been a consultant and uh, attended the various central banking uh, program across the globe, and also a consultant. It's a great uh, conversation and the insights. So what we are getting for T Talk audience exclusively on this Ek Bun Soch Ki T Talk, sir. Now, in fact, which are the hottest uh, sec? Like, sir, let's talk in terms of investment banking in Treasury. Uh, for our target audience, can you please tell what is this investment banking and what are the opportunities and the uh, uh, skill sets which are required in making career in investment banking? Yeah, you are actually on the dot. The reason is that investment banking is the hottest area today, uh, and actually for many years it has been one of the prime and very important areas as a, a banking function. Now, what happens is in investment banking, what you do is your the main function is to raise funds from mm-hmm. the market. Mm-hmm. So the IPOs which come in, uh, these are actually uh, funds which are arranged for companies by way of public issues, mm-hmm. and then a uh, lot of work goes into that. Mm-hmm. right from the stage of uh, documentation and uh, the preparation of the uh, prospectus and then pricing of the equity which is very very important mm-hmm. uh, investment bankers have a very important role, role to play in this uh, here apart from the knowledge of finance one must have a good uh, background of even uh, legal enactments mm-hmm. one must know legally what are, because you have to comply with various provisions of law Mm-hmm. So legal enactments are also to be familiarized with in this area. Mm-hmm. Lot of hard work goes into this, nice. but uh, it is commensurately very lucrative, mm-hmm. and uh, people uh, they have to work even on Sundays. There are no holidays for investment bankers. Yeah. They have to work very hard, and then uh, it's a function which pays a lot of money. Nice. Uh, in India, the biggest Indian uh, merchant banker and uh, investment banker, merchant banking, investment banking, they are synonymous, mm-hmm. except that merchant banking activity. You are raising funds for medium-sized firms. Mm-hmm. Interest banking is for big-ticket uh, mm-hmm. activity. Correct. So uh, in India, you have SBI Capital Markets, Correct. which is one of the biggest uh, merchant bankers and the mm-hmm. investment bankers. Mm-hmm. And as you know, government for government of India, who is the investment banker? Mm-hmm. Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of so India. they are typically doing their function of fund- fundraising for the government of India. Correct. So investment banking is one area where if somebody is prepared to work very hard mm-hmm. and uh, gather a lot of knowledge, read a lot, Correct. and then. Uh, be flexible in his approach about uh, funding and all that correct so uh, this area definitely provides very good opportunity for students to, to be involved in a uh, high package uh, career and so what are the uh, function of investment banking yeah investment banking it, it comprises lots of functions uh, it's very specialized in nature the first would be of course to raise public funds mm-hmm. for companies etc also raising debt funds not only equity but even debt funds mm-hmm. number 2 is to arrange mergers and acquisitions mm-hmm. one company taking over another company how they negotiate and how they merge or one company functioning as a stand alone uh, by merging with another company mm-hmm. and all that how they arrange that mm-hmm. number 3 is actually uh, to arrange uh, what to call uh, structured products mm-hmm. structured products means you are into the area of derivatives mm-hmm. how you are hedging your risk so okay. they devise various strategies for you to mm-hmm. devise your own peculiar risk i see so there are two types of risks actually systemic mm-hmm. and systematic risk mm-hmm. one is the market risk other is the risk which is peculiar to a particular business mm-hmm. so how we are going to actually surmount mm-hmm. how we are going to tackle these risks I that's see. other one and fourth is the area of uh, what you call currency hedging mm-hmm. how we are uh, depending on the company how we are going to do currency hedging Because yes. you are you are in a depreciated area, mm-hmm. currency keeps on depreciating. Mm-hmm. So when you are an importer, mm-hmm. automatically you suffer exchange fluctuation risk. Mm-hmm. So how they you are going to surmount that? They give you a special advice on that. I see. And then uh, these are the main areas in which uh, investment bankers function. They also arrange loan mandates. Okay. Uh, they see if you are a company, good company, but you are short of funds mm-hmm. and you really deserve funds. Mm-hmm. So they talk to various. Uh, lenders mm-hmm. in the domestic market as well as across the globe mm-hmm. and then they try to arrange funds by projecting your company nice. they prepare a, a nice uh, what you call presentations about your company mm-hmm. gather a lot of information and put it in a presentable way to the uh, potential lenders and then to enable you to raise funds from them okay. external commercial borrowing etc good so uh, from the point of view of risk 
and a career in risk a student will have to be very very focused uh, in his knowledge uh, because risk is one of the very important areas today for uh, especially from the public safety point of view from the point of view of uh, keeping your investments and funds intact okay so uh, the main certification course for this uh, for students to follow is the frm financial risk management i will say it is the brother of cfa Mm-hmm. The reason is that CFA concentrates 360 degrees on all aspects of finance. Mm-hmm. Financial risk management is purely a very specialized course in risk. There are two parts, FRM one and two. Again, this is a dollar-denominated course, so one should prepare quite well and then attend these uh, courses. If the, if you crack these courses, well, a very good uh, a job awaits you. And about any certification, you will suggest for theatre yeah, audience? Uh, yeah. So investment, investment banking typically one would. Uh, be good at uh, numbers uh, financial analysis uh, documentation and uh, what you call uh, uh, legal provisions so uh, one is cfa mm-hmm. cfa is the prime qualification where uh, you are learning lot of things on finance mm-hmm. it covers actually 360 degrees of uh, financial uh, area mm-hmm. so uh, cfa is an quite a tough thing mm-hmm. to crack mm-hmm. uh, part one yes i am sure students can crack with even normal skills Part two and part three are really tough. I oh. would say even that somebody clears part two, mm-hmm. he can clear part three. I so see. it's uh, that sort of a certification mm-hmm. uh, involves little bit of investment by your fee, etc. Because it is denominated in dollars. I see. So uh, one better take care that you don't fail. Because if you are to appear again, you have to pay through your nose again. Uh, so you work very hard, you prepare yourself well, and no reason why you cannot crack it. Okay. Then other qualification, the very important qualification is the area of risk. Yes. we did not talk about that this yes. is risk manager mm-hmm. now this world of finance as much as it has developed a lot mm-hmm. it has made lot of progress advancement and acceleration mm-hmm. in its uh, what you call in uh, various uh, devices financial devices mm-hmm. uh, one can say that it is also accumulating lot of risk mm-hmm. with advancement you also accumulate risk correct, correct. so uh, the world of uh, cyber crimes mm-hmm. and online frauds correct. and then pilfering Mm-hmm. all these things are taking place electronically nowadays mm-hmm, mm-hmm. even central bank is not known to escape this you know mm-hmm. central bank of bangladesh mm-hmm. uh, somebody pilfered uh, their money online about correct. 543 million takas correct so correct. that's a kind of uh, uh, what you call these fraudsters they are far ahead in technology correct as compared to the normal players correct so they are putting in lot of technology and in so this many area a, many a time it so happen like uh, if you ask these students like you know while doing their uh, mba in finance like Uh, first thing which they will say is investment uh, banking so now at what period of in time uh, where the students get an opportunity to get into the investment banking actually as a manager like yeah so uh, what's yeah. the period uh, it takes yeah one has to have lot of patience in this area because uh, what happens is typically only the top schools they will hire uh, managers for investment banking uh, the other schools where students may be smart i am not saying that uh, only i am or a uh, top g- uh, grade schools have smart students there are small law number of smart students in this uh, tier 2 tier 3 colleges also mm-hmm. now what they have to do is the trick is to work with a small investment banker mm-hmm. there are individuals who form small firms mm-hmm. and they are into investment banking nice. so you work with them okay. you may not get paid for it mm-hmm. it is investment for learning okay. what you are sacri- sacrificing in the initial years by way of package is investment for learning okay. so after 2 3 years when you actually become skilled in this area mm-hmm. you get picked up by the bigger players by the foreign players by your own big investment bankers mm-hmm. and then you flourish i see sir great insights given by professor kv ramakrishnan as for the investment banking uh, which is concerned like what are the options uh, which are available as for the investment banking uh, is concerned what are the skill sets which are required uh, as uh, far as uh, investment banking which is concerned and also what are the certification courses which are required Uh, to be part of an investment banking i'm sure i think this is a this is what etalk platform is all about sharing more insights in making your career in non relevant aspects of and finance uh, and i'm sure like it's there is going to be a series of an episodes with professor kv or uh, kv ramakrishnan for more clarity as for the finance sector which is concerned so thanks a lot for uh, Thank you, enlightening our target audience with a word of and wisdoms and more insight as for investment banking which is concerned thank you very much thanks